Hello folks, today we're going to talk about a fly and build a fly called the Pink Fuzzy. As you can see from the picture, it looks kind of uh, shrimpy, pinky, but I tell you this, it's one of the very most and prolific of all the pink salmon flies. It's totally amazing. I called it, it was myself, I called it the Pink Fuzzy probably oh, nine, ten years ago. Maybe a little longer, I can't remember. Twelve years ago, but whatever, that's not important. So the hooks we're using for this is going to be the, um, I'm using the Maruto number 10 I-95. It's a replacement for the Temco 9394 that we use. Uh, really nice straight eye, 3X long, and uh, really nice hook. A little wider gap than the Temco. Slightly, not much. Now you notice I'm going to start my thread, and the thread I'm using is actually Semperfy's nan Nano Thread. Super strong, super thin, and this fly requires that you really, really clamp down on your materials because we're going to be using some th synthetics, some plastics, and uh, so you really got to, you really got to tighten it up. We're going to be using Edge Bright or Laser Wrap in a fluorescent pink. We're going to be using um, Crystal Chenille in small. I'm going to be using some gold wire, very tiny, very fine, super fine. Bead chain eyes, medium sized bead chain eyes, and some mylar that I have on a big bobbin. This bobbin actually works for mylar, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, it's going to be, I have a number 10, but you can also use, also use a number 12. And the tail of the material of the, of the fly is going to be done with floral fiber. And floral fiber is a really nice material. Uh, very, very, very sparkly. So. It disappeared for a minute. Just had to get some floor fiber that I already had cut up. There we are. I don't want to waste too much because I really like this stuff. Now we're going to leave this in. And I, my tail is not too heavy. This one's a bit heavy. So I'm going to pull a bit of it out. If I don't screw up the whole fly. There we are. I don't think so. There we are. Okay. Okay. Just keep screwing around. I will screw it up. There. I like to wrap the material right on my body of the shank, so I've got a really balanced body. Now you can see how how, how small the uh, nano silk is beautiful stuff and again we introduced that here in Canada oh, six seven years ago I think and now it's just taken off like crazy it's like the COVID the COVID virus it just spreads like nuts but great stuff and strong and the last thing you want to do is break your thread when you're doing your fly but notice how far back I'm putting the eyes you want to leave a good quarter of an inch, you know, six, seven millimeters to the eye. There we are. And I'm using silver eyes, but you can use gold, you can use black. It really doesn't matter much. Next is going to be my wire. The wire is not totally necessary, but this fly catches an awful lot of fish. And what I found is that it will get torn apart because coho like it, steelhead actually <laughs> will grab it. Um, and pink salmon, of course. Next will come my mylar. And this is, the, this is the one thing that I want you to pay attention to if you can, is to just listen to the noise that I make with this when I wrap it in a, in a moment. Going to be really, really tight. If your mylar is not squeaking, 
it's not tight enough. Or the laser up. There we are. Goal side up. And so when I start wrapping, it will be silver side up. This is a little bit of COVID-19 COVID therapy for us. Fly tying and being on the water. This is a saltwater fly. Not a freshwater fly. Although it will catch fish in fresh water. Now, my mylar is on. Now will come my laser wrap. And you can hear this squeak. That is the sound that you want. I always bring my laser wrap up and lock it in when, in the vertical position. There we are. And uh, just a couple wraps there. Now my wire wrap opposite. It's just a secondary uh, security method to uh, keep your laser wrap from unwrapping should get a big coho or a chinook or something grab the fly and they have serious teeth. There. We're almost done by the way. Now my small crystal chenille. I'm using small crystal chenille and I like the small crystal chenille. I'll take some off. I'll use this up after. What I'll do is I'll lock it in here. So you notice I'm not getting much of a buildup because that thread is so thin. And that's why I really like it because you need that. There you are. I got two wraps there behind the eye. One over and there it is. Your pink fuzzy. I have done these with chartreuse. I've done these with white. I've done these with all sorts of different colors. But the best and most prolific is the pink fuzzy. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of super glue. This is Gulf's super glue. Love it. Brushable. Excellent, excellent. Best I've ever used. There you go, folks. The Pink Fuzzy. Pretty nice fly. Simple as hell to tie. And extremely efficient.